In this video, we'll be looking at limits of summation as n approaches infinity. The problem that we'll be looking at is given that s of n equals 64 over n cubed times the quantity n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6 and we want to find the limit of s of n as n approaches infinity. So first of all, let me just write the limit as n approaches infinity. Now our first step is to see if we have any factors that are constants. In this case, we can see that we have a 64 and then 6. So the 64 in the numerator and the 6 in the denominator can be pulled out in front and that'll give us 64 over 6 times the limit as n approaches infinity of n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over n cubed. Now we can simplify this a little bit. This factor of n in the numerator can be canceled with one of these factors and that would give me an n squared in the denominator. So this is 64 over 6 times the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over n squared. We want to multiply this out. So 64 over 6 times the limit as n approaches infinity. Um, n times 2n is 2n squared. My outer product is n. My inner product is 2n. When I combine those, I get 3n, and then my last terms multiplied gives me 1. That's over n squared. Now I'm going to divide this up into three separate terms. So I have 64 over 6 times the limit of 2n squared over n squared plus 3n over n squared plus 1 over n squared. And then I can simplify This is 2, this is 3 over n, and this is 1 over n squared. And then we know that uh, for a fraction, as uh, the denominator gets bigger and bigger and bigger, approaching infinity, that the whole fraction itself, the whole term, will approach zero. So we uh, now have, when we do the limit, this will be 2, since there's no n in this term. Uh, nothing happens to that as n approaches infinity. But 
uh, as n approaches infinity here, as my denominator gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this term becomes 0. And this term also becomes 0. So we have 64 over 6 times 2, which is 64 over 3.